Cute Friday. Cute Friday. Oh my God. Woo! Woo! Uh. Woo. <sighs> All right. I'm single again. I'm back on the market. You are awesome. And I'm awesome. <laughs> and my goal is to find the person who's the least like David in the entire world. <laughs> just, I just, I'm David's pretty typical. Shit, <laughs> and I don't want to do it anymore. And so I'm just gonna just, you know, rebound with some guy who is as different from David as I can possibly find. Okay. All right, we can do this. So, for starters, meat. Meat. Definitely Some needs to person eat. Meat. Eats meat. I don't have time for this vegetarian stuff that makes restaurants so hard, and then we want to share small plates, and all the small plates are like eggplant, and I can't do it. A real person who eats real meat. Speaking of eggplant, did I ever tell you? I have an irrational fear of eggplant. <laughs> you look at it on the counter and it looks like it's breathing. <laughs> I could never date somebody like David. It looks like it's breathing? Yeah, not, just some, not the Japanese ones. Those, those I can tolerate, although they're weird looking in a different way. But the, the more globe ones, they look like they're breathing. <laughs> I don't like eggplant. You, you do like meat. Right. Okay. So meat eater. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then somebody intelligent. Intelligence definitely important. Not a lawyer. Not a lawyer. Anything but a lawyer. <clears throat> Kim, I think I was doing this wrong. What do you mean, Jen? I think I set the priorities for this wrong. I don't think I need to date another guy that's the opposite of David. That's not the most opposite of David. <laughs> what would be more opposite? Well, you're really smart, and <laughs> <laughs> you eat me. <laughs> and, you, and you do not watch like any reality shows. Like nothing. No. <laughs> None of the American Idol dancing, singing. This masked singer thing I just I heard about. Why? Why? You watched four episodes. I don't. I still don't understand what's going on. I'm saying, Happy Friday. Is this a date? Are we on a date? I know because that would be weird because I didn't tell you that that's what it was beforehand. But if you want to go on a date with me over at that end of the bar, <laughs> um, and just a few feet that way later, um, I would like to go on a date with you. Not maybe serious or anything. I just got out of a long relationship. You heard most of the details. Yeah. <laughs> but you, you sort of are everything opposite. Yeah. And I really like spending time with you. I like spending time with you too. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Mm. How, you look really nice. Thank you. <laughs> you look really nice too. Oh, oh thank you. I was there when you bought that glass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're really in a dressing room together for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess we were. <laughs> this is different. Uh -uh. You, I mean, you know me better than anybody I've ever gone out with. Yeah. And I know you better than anybody I've ever gone out with. And yet we still like each other. Even as much as we know. Yeah. This could work. Very 
didn't know they used snore, so. <laughs> That's true. That was a fun vacation. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.